Hello and welcome to Stocktrum. Today I'm going to show you briefly how our platform works, how we bring information across from Sin7 and show you some of the screens uh, that we've got here in Stocktrum. So Stocktrum is an inventory forecasting platform. We bring the data across from Sin7, analyze it and then generate our order recommendations and forecasts from that point. Stocktrum is a very simple platform. There's really only three levels to it. So the dashboard, which we're looking at now, the order plan screen, which we'll look at in a second, and then the individual product pages where you can edit some of the background data points that help make up your forecast. So on the dashboard, we show how many items that we're forecasting for, which products have got excess inventory, which products have a risk of running out of stock. We also identify any products that have never been sold and then pr provide three summaries down below this of your fastest moving products, your products that are the most urgent to go away and reorder, and then your products that are the most stagnant. And this information, will allow you to, uh, to improve your stock holding and cut down on your uh, capital expenditure. If we drop down to the order plan screen, we can drill in and search by product code or product name at the top of the screen here. We can drop down and look at forecast by location, forecast by supplier, or forecast by category of goods. And this is the top level category that you've got assigned within Sin7. Then this is the way that we rank the products uh, within Stocktrim. So in this case, I'm looking at all my products uh, ranked by most urgent product to go away and reorder, or I can look at them by fastest moving, most urgent orders, most stagnant, et cetera, across here. We'll just talk quickly about a finished good that, we've, that you're, we're currently buying in and reselling. So these six columns here are what are the information that we're bringing across from Sin7. So I've got my product code and product name, my total amount of stock on hand, and then my lead time and my supplier lead time to physically get that product in once I issue a purchase order to them. These five columns here are the information that we generate within Stocktrim. So over the forecast total sales forecast period that I've got set up in the background, which is 100 days, I expect to sell 261 units of this jacket. I'm currently selling on average about two units a day. I've got three units of, sorry, I've got three days worth of current inventory left. And then we've been recommended to go away and order 310 units now to ensure that we can meet that demand uh, once, uh, once the stock arrives in 40 days. And that's basically what we do. It's all about generating this recommended order quantity down the side here. And any number in red is a quantity that we're recommending that you go away and purchase now. If I scroll down, you can see that we've got numbers in green here. These are for products that are currently in excess and we're not recommending that you go away and order any of these products at, at present. We look at, go back to our windbreaker jacket, look at the individual product page in the background. Uh, and so here we can show up to 24 months of sales history. For, sales history. We're analyzing that and summarizing it uh, on this blue line here. And then we're forecasting out 24 months in advance. So that's the red line here. So I can scroll through as an example and see how much we expect to sell of this windbreaker jacket right out to August 23, uh, you know, based on the current information that we've provided to the system from Sin7. It's very easy for you to come in and put in your own sales targets. So in this case, you can see I've replaced the um, the automated forecast of 35 and 74 units here with 100 and 150 units. So now you know, we've got a target to sell 100 units of product in December. So we need to ensure that we've got at least 100 units on hand uh, you know, in December and 150 units in January. And the way that we do that is we use these background data points to drive this reorder quantity number over here. So in this case, we've got a lead time of 40 days to physically get the product in, but I'm actually looking ahead another 60 days for a total forecast period of 100 days. Over that 100 days, we're expecting to sell 261 units of this jacket. I've currently got five units on hand. I've got 65 units currently on purchase order. They will arrive within the next 40 days. Here I've got my last purchase price and my current retail price. Here's our buffer stock amount that's been built into the calculation. Our supply MOQ of 60 units, our batch size of 50 units, sorry, of five units, and our minimum shelf level of 50 units. So I have to order at least 60 units in each order from the, from the supplier. It comes in a box of five jackets per carton. And I, and I never want to drop below having 50 units on hand at any one time. So all these background data points have helped refine our reorder quantity number over here. And Stocktrim is recommending that I go away and order 310 units right now to ensure that I've got enough stock to handle uh, the sales that are expected to occur over the next 100 days. 
And that's fundamentally you know, how Stockton works. And it's all about generating this number across here. And the more data points that you can come in and fill in on the screen, that will make this number over here as accurate as possible. Uh, we can also include the product dimensions, and this can flow through to our purchase order module. And we also show down below here the individual sales transactions. So what? Uh, so when the product was sold, how much was sold, what it was sold for, and which location it shipped it out from. So once you're happy with your setup on here, you save the updates, uh, and the, the forecast will generate from there. Um, to bring your data in from Sin7, just click on the load data icon over here, and then click on the load data Sin7 button, enter your API key and username that you've set up in Sin7, and then click on the boxes, tick boxes along here and go load from Sin7. Your data will automatically sync across into Stockroom and our forecast will recalculate each time that you bring data across. That first sync that you bring, that initial first sync that you do, that might take uh, a bit longer because you're bringing across your entire product data set and the sales history that's associated with that. But when you do a daily resync, for example, or after you've just issued a new purchase order, that sync will only take a couple of minutes each time because you're only bringing in the most recent product information and sales, uh, sales transaction history. If you've got any further questions, please visit stocktrim.com and fill in the contact us page uh, or request a demo or go to our YouTube channel and uh, view this video there uh, or check out the, um, the video that's on that channel for our purchase order module that runs through how to operate that function. Thank you.